And welcome. Our top story at this hour, amid Israel's opposition to revive the nuclear deal with Iran, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met Israel's Prime Minister Naftali Bennett in Jerusalem. Sullivan's visit to Israel comes at a critical time as negotiations are ongoing to salvage the nuclear deal with Iran. The two sides discussed Iran and wild power's efforts to renew the 2015 nuclear deal. Amidst lack of progress on returning to the original pact, Sullivan called for U.S. and Israel to develop a joint strategy. Sullivan underscored the U.S. administration's determination to confront all aspects of the threats Iran poses. Sullivan also reaffirmed the commitment to ensuring Iran never gets a nuclear weapon. That's why it's such a timely meeting. And I bring personal greetings from President Biden and from Dr. Biden, who wanted me to extend to you their warm wishes. And um, they asked me to come here this week, uh, even just before Christmas, because uh, at a critical juncture for both of our countries on a, a major set of security issues, it's important that we sit together and develop a common strategy, a common outlook, and find a way forward that fundamentally secures your country's interests and mine. And we believe those interests, like the values upon which our countries are built, are deeply shared and deeply felt. Israel is not a party to nuclear deal talks, but it has been critical of the attempts to reach a new deal with Iran. It could even resort to military force to prevent Iran from gaining the means to make a bomb. Referring to the negotiations with Iran, Bennett told Sullivan that conclusions from the Vienna meetings will have a long-term impact on the Middle East. These days are pretty important. What, what happens in Vienna has uh, profound ramifications for the stability of the Middle East and uh, the security of Israel for the upcoming years, and that's why it's uh, such a timely meeting. The 2015 deal saw Iran agree to curb nuclear activities in exchange for sanctions lifting. Negotiations to restore the pact known as the Joint Collective Plan of Action resumed in November. Washington was a party to the original agreement, but withdrew under President Donald Trump in 2018. Western powers say Iran's stocks of enriched uranium could be used to develop a nuclear weapon, but Iran says... It only wants to develop a civil nuclear program. Naftali Bennett's government has called for a halt to global efforts to revive the accord. Bennett has accused Iran of nuclear blackmail. He has charged that the revenue gained by Iran from sanctions relief will be used to acquire weapons to harm Israelis. Israeli President Isaac Herzog has alluded to the possibility of striking Iran. In his latest remarks, Herzog said that the Iranian nuclear threat must be neutralized once and for all, with or without an agreement. During the visit, the U.S. National Security Advisor also met Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The two sides met in the occupied West Bank city of Ramallah. Palestinian President discussed the U.S.-Palestinian relations. Remember, U.S.-sponsored statehood negotiations with Israel have been stalled since 2014. In Ramallah, Sullivan said he met with Abbas to highlight the U.S. interest in strengthening engagement. But neither of the two sides mentioned U.S. pledge to reopen a consulate in Jerusalem for Palestinian affairs. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.